Welcome to the part one of the tutorial on how to assemble the Maker Gear M2. Today we're going to put on the feet of the Maker Gear and the top plate. Let's get started. You're going to take these rubber feet and put them on the bottom. Three of the holes are tapped, so you won't need a nut on the, bo on the bottom. You're going to use M4 by 12 bolts, and an M4 washer, and the rubber foot. So using the included three millimeter Allen wrench, go ahead and screw in the first foot. I'm gonna do the other three real quick on the corners like this, and I'll be right back. So we're back, we've attached these three feet. Now it's time for the fourth one. The fourth one is gonna sit right here. Since you don't have a tapped hole, you're gonna need an M4 lock nut, two washers, and an M4 by 18 bolt. Make sure when you're putting on this foot not to cover the four holes where the motor is going to mount later. Stick that through there and make sure you have a washer on both sides of the rubber foot and attach it with your nylon. Next up is a smooth rod holder. On the smooth rod holder, you have small bolts, M3 by 30s, that will be attached through the holes on the sides. I've already attached one, but I'll attach one more just to show you how. You're going to need two M3 washers and an M3 lock nut. Place the M3 washer through the bolt, place the bolt through the hole, place another M3 washer on the other side, and then place the M3 lock nut on the end. Don't tighten these all the way yet because you'll have to tighten them later after you put the smooth rods in. So next, this mounts right here next to the offset foot. To mount these, you need two more M4 by 18 bolts, two washers, and two lock nuts. Make sure you put the, the washer on the bottom of Make sure you put the washer underneath the lock nut. And tighten. So this is now securely in place. There are slots on the bottom of the carriage to adjust for the smooth rods. We'll tighten this up later once we have the smooth rods in. Now for the top plate. The top plate is this piece. It sits right on top and secures with three M4 by 16 black oxidized bolts. Grab your bolts with three washers and three M4 lock nuts. The bolts will go here, here, and there. I'll tighten them up and I'll be right back. We've got the top plate all mounted. Next we're going to mount the electronics box. We've already pre-assembled our electronics box and we'll leave a link in the description on how to do so. The electronics box slides right in the bottom of your Maker Gear M2. Lines up with the front and there are three M4 by 16 black anodized screws that hold it in place. It's important to remember when doing this you have your black screw, a black washer, you put it through the hole on the side, then before you put your electronics board on, you do two more M4 washers. This gives you a nice off stand, uh, standoff from the electronics board to the wall. And then you can slide in your electronics board. I'm gonna do the same with the other three bolts. So now, once you have these three in, you want to slide them right onto the electronics board and through the holes on the side of the electronics board. Next, you're going to grab M4 lock nuts and secure them in place in the electronics board. 
This can be a little bit tricky, especially with the electronics already inside. Now that the screws are all attached, the top board just comes right on here, slides down, and slides into place. If you have any questions, leave a comment in the, below the video or email us at the link in the description. See you in part two.